without further ado, I would like to introduce Jeff Burchett. He is about to switch the Libertarian Party and run for governor. Um, and we are going to get him elected by Libertarian Governor of Tennessee, Zimmer. I appreciate it. I was just going to say, my father is a Marine. He's, he's buried up here at Patrick's. He was in the first Marine division of Petaluma, Okinawa, and I really do appreciate the Marine Corps. Appreciate everything y'all saying. Thank you. I'm going to be brief. He seems to run on forever, and I know nobody cares what I have to say. I'm trying to limit it. I'm not sure if they did, but I'm going to be here. I'm glad they did. I always like talking to people that value every a little more than some of the others. So it's a pleasure being here with a group of misfits, being that I am a misfit, I appreciate this crowd. Um, the RV tell my father, of course, is the United States Marine Corps. A little bit about me, I always feel a little bit about where I come from, I think it's important. And I pull with old cars and motorcycles, and you'll, you'll see something with a really, a, a paint job on a gas tank that's really slick. Just put gas in it, right? You buy it and pay a big price for it. Everybody loves you at bike night. And about six weeks later, the paint starts getting off. It's full of Bondo and rust. But I want you to know where I come from, so you know I'm not full of Bondo and rust. My father fought the United States Marine Corps in the Japanese bomb Pearl Harbor. He was uh, he enlisted like most great love American males and some females did. He was actually uh, unlike myself. My father tested out very high. They sent him to Georgia Tech to become an officer. And in the course of that, my father figured he missed the war. He hated the enemy and loved his country. So my dad just did not take his midterm exams at Georgia Tech and failed himself out automatically. So he was automatically enlisted in the Corps. My mom uh, was the youngest of seven. She's from Cuban County. Didn't have electricity, but she's a senior in high school. She lost her brother two days after D Day. If you come to my office, there's a 48 star flag on the wall. But there's also a picture of my mama who actually flew airplanes during the Second World War. She was, you know, everybody talks about Kid Rock being the American badass. <laughs> I was raised by a couple of American badasses. They love freedom. My father would fight you right now if he was alive. If somebody stepped on your, your view, he didn't always agree with you, but he fought for your right to have that view. One time I was riding around on a salt truck, and um, somebody tweeted something about the picture on Twitter, and they showed this graveyard, and it, in the background is where my parents are buried, Veterans Cemetery up here on North Shore, and they said, is that all your voters? And I said, I said, no. I said, that's where my father's buried. He fought and killed people, so you had the right to be an idiot. Trying to kiss me riding dirty. Trying to kiss me riding dirty. 